look this image, now this, and then this image. We just created this in just a minute. Incredible things we will see today with Playground AI. Playground AI is a really cool AI tool that helps you make pictures from words. You just type in what you want the picture to be about, and the tool creates an image for you. It's kind of like having a superpower that lets you bring your ideas to life. Now, access to the playground is too simple. Just click on sign up button, located right top corner. Now continue with Google. Now you can see mind-blowing arts, which create by others. You can see his prompts, which use to create, and also can download. Now, for generate your own art, go to top right corner and click create. On the left tab you see the prompt box. Here enter your prompt, like that. Under the prompt box, you can see remove from image. Enable this. Here describe details you don't want an image. Like I describe. Now on right side, you see model. Different models can produce different or better results. So feel free to experiment. I go with stable diffusion. Now, image dimension from here you choose the image, width and height. Scroll down. And here you see, number of images, so this would generate a variation. If you select four, so they would generate four different images according to your prompt. So I select four. You see the generate button, click on this, and they start generating, will take a few moments. And boom, they generated four different images as per prompt. Now on the image, click actions add. You see a lot of option, like edit, copy link download, view full screen and upscale. So I just click to upscale by 4x and see the image will start upscaling and image quality are more improved. Now, for download, click on download button. Now let's try another prompt. So same give prompt and describe what you don't want an image. Now on top you see the filter option. From here you can apply a lot of filters. For example I wanna apply this one. And set the model, prompt guidance, Image quality, also can give seed number. Seed is a number used to initialize the generation. No need to come up with the number yourself, as it is randomly generated when not specified. But controlling the seed can help you generate reproducible images, experiment with other parameters, or prompt variations. And this time, I select number of images is one. And I also enable private sessions so the images only will be visible to you. After that, click on Generate. And see images are generated according to your prompt. On the image, left side you see plus icon. Click on this to make more variation of this same image. See they generated on more version of the same image. Let's try some more attractive prompts. And this time I select, number of images is 4. And proceed to generate. And boom, they give mid-blowing results. So let's I wanna some more variations of the third one image. Click plus icon to generate more variations. See they are generated. You can also edit or change your image through prompts. Let's try. For this click on, import image to edit and choose your image from browser like that. Let's I want necklace in his neck. Write your prompt on prompt section. Like I type, add necklace. If you want to remove anything from image, you can describe and remove from image section. Click generate. And see necklace are added. But you can see this does not look perfect. To make it more perfect, use the mask option. On the left top side of the image, you see add mask option, click on this. 
Now highlight your area through this, where you want a necklace, like that. Click Generate again. Now necklace are perfectly added. Now let's try on more image. Like I want to change the color of t-shirt. So I enter a prompt. Change shirt to shirt color to red. Click generate. See red color are added but not only in t-shirt. So Sam use mask. Like that and click generate again. Boobum. T-shirt color are changed. Thank you for watching.